Good afternoon. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News from Vail Summit Orthopedics and Neurosurgery. 941 people have spoken, and they made Keystone a real town. Oh, it feels great. It feels great. I'm ecstatic. That was Ken Riley, president of the Keystone Incorporation Committee. Riley is optimistic for Keystone's future as a home rule town, guided by laws that he himself will help to write as part of a nine-person charter commission. This town needs to support the entire community, and that's what the charter commission is going to help ensure as we set up the charter. Summit County Commissioner Tamara Pogue is optimistic for Summit's newest town and realistic. All of the road and bridge, the plowing, the road maintenance, law enforcement, planning and zoning, um, a lot of those really key functions uh, will now be within the purview of the town of Keystone. But won't the county be taking a big hit from lost tax revenue? Really no financial benefits um, to the county uh, in having Keystone remain as part of the county. Um, I know that that was a belief that was propagated by the proponents, but really a financial analysis shows that's not true. In a statement today, Keystone Resort congratulated the people of Keystone, saying executives there look forward to closely collaborating with Newtown leadership. Keystone is Colorado's first new town since 2007. At last night's Frisco Council meeting, Councilwoman Lisa Halenko of Next Page Bookstore had this to say about recent school violence. There are groups in this country that are trying to convince us that it's books and people who wear non-traditional clothing that are a danger to our children. And we are watching them being gunned down day after day after day. Halenko encouraged council and others listening to use their voices and vote for changes to combat school violence. Town of Breck is honoring a local man, Perry Keller, and four Breck PD officers for saving two lives in early February. He saw his neighbor on the back patio collapse and went to check on him. Mr. Keller also found a female unconscious on a couch inside the apartment. Keller immediately called police and four officers arrived. Upon arrival, Officer Lopez and Sergeant Coffin began life-saving procedures on the female subject, while Officer Kishiku and Officer Chavez began life-saving procedures on a male subject on a back patio. These coordinated, multi-pronged treatments on two subjects simultaneously demonstrated great professionalism and teamwork. Those comments came from last night's town council meeting. Council also honored Breckenridge Ski Patrol for a March incident where two Flight for Life choppers landed there at the resort. Town of Silverthorne is reviewing two big upcoming projects. First is a new hotel with 147 rooms right next door to the Hampton Inn across from McDonald's. Second is a Frito-Lay distribution and retail facility on a large empty plot off Buffalo Mountain Drive just west of Adams Avenue. Town Council has heard and approved early plans for both in recent weeks. This week on the State of Summit, Town of Frisco is getting busy installing new broadband fiber. First up this summer are two public hotspots senior planner Addison Canino. The marina and the PRA. Employees there at the PRA, also known as the Adventure Park, say this will be making everyone's life easier. Talking to the events that have happened out there, they have a lot of trouble with their timing and right, the races like it all driven off the internet. They're like, this doesn't help. Next up, expanded fiber could be coming to local businesses starting on Main Street. It makes the most fiscal sense to assist the businesses on Main Street first since I have heard that, hey, when town is super busy and it's crazy, sometimes our point of sale machines have a lot of trouble. No timeline yet for this Main Street fiber work. Tune in again next week for the State of Summit on Crystal 93. In sports, the Avalanche play the Wild tonight at 8 on TNT. And in local sports, Summit High Baseball is playing Conifer away today, rescheduled from yesterday. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 news from Vail Summit Orthopedics and Neurosurgery.